What's up, everybody? So today uh, we're going to be talking about the power dialer that I use in my business, as well as how I integrate that into Go High Level or insurance systems, whichever one you want to use. And I'm going to show you how you can use this to help maximize your profitability, as well as just save time instead of being stuck booking appointments completely all day. It's going to really help maximize all your time and to make sure that you are the most efficient when you are working your leads. So the software I use is a software called Kixi, okay? So Kixi is a calling software. Uh, you can call up to four numbers at once. Uh, now, it doesn't triple dial. I know some people are big triple dialers. Uh, I really only dial once or twice, so I don't really have that issue, you are a big tripper dialer, I would look at a different dialer. One of the things that makes Kixi really, really good is that one, you can dial multiple lines at the same time. I typically dial two lines at the same time. The reason why that I dial two lines at the same time is just because it can constantly keep people picking up the phone. I do find that if you do start to do three or four lines at the same time, what happens is when they pick up the phone, if they have an automated voicemail, it will mess that up. So I find that two is going to be the best. So how does Kixi work? So Kixi works with three things. There's SMS, there's cadence and then there's power list. So power list is going to be the list that you're going to be dialing from. For me, I run aged leads. So for that, what I'm doing is, let's say I have a batch of 100. I'm going to put 100 leads and create a power list. And then I'm going to dial from that power list. Okay. The next one is going to be cadences. As you can see here, I don't use cadences very, very much. So on here, if you wanted to do a cadence, how those work is basically it's just like a workflow. So on here, you're going to have an action. So if you wanted to uh, do an SMS template, so you could do SMS and then you're going to have your drip through on that. So if you wanted to text off Kixi, you would be able to do that. Now, with Kixi, the pro of texting off Kixi is going to be the fact that you're not going to get charged per text, which is really nice. The only downside is um, I have everything already set up and go high level, so I pretty much just run that. But if you are starting from scratch, uh, I would probably recommend actually just texting from Kixi just because since you don't have to pay for it and Kixi can be a little on the more expensive side, it's definitely one of those that you can use. And you can also do it to where it'll call. So SMS, call, you can do all of that on there. Then you'll have your dispositions like you normally do. So whatever, you, you can change that. I keep mine standard, so do not call. Scheduled mean I book the appointment. Uh, and then it will remove them from, you know, it'll forward a cadence, forward to a power list, or it'll stop. So if you book the appointment, it's going to stop the automations just because we don't need to text them anymore. The other part is going to be the SMS on Kixi. So that one's pretty straightforward. You do have to be A2P compliant, so you will have to purchase a number. Kixi does give you a number that you can use, and then you'll A2P compliant that number, and that's how you're going to send text. Uh, one of the other pros with Kixi is it has something called local presence. So what that's going to do is they actually have a pool of phone numbers that you can use. And the pro of that is you can actually go out and it'll match the area code uh, person you're calling. So with that, you can, it looks more organic and you don't have to worry about getting flagged as spam likely. You don't have to verify your phone numbers uh, and do all that. So how does this work with our go high level? So this is one of my go high level accounts. It's blank. So basically when you load your leads, you're going to, so when you go to import your leads, let's say you have a batch of 100, you're going to import your leads into there, and then you're going to add those leads to a power list. It's going to verify them based off the phone number. So it'll automatically integrate. You don't have to export from go high level into Kixi. You're just going to take that list, put it in go high level, and then put that in Kixi as well. Okay. So for example, if we have this lead over here, on here, you'll just click this CRM profile and then it will, you'll click that and then it's gonna open up their profile in Go High Level. All you have to do is call them when they pick up, just have the information you need. And then at that point, it's gonna load all their data and then you're gonna be able to pull up that contact in there and then you'll book from there. Cause I book from Go High Level. So I click that, my appointments are ready to go. I click over here, I book my appointment, and then I go on with my day. That's how that is all going to 
be integrated with it. Now, if you want to integrate with Go High Level, basically all you're going to have to do is you'll get the Kixi Chrome extension, uh, which you'll get if you get Kixi. And then you'll go, you'll click these three buttons. You'll click the settings. Okay. And then see, it'll say CRM down here. So you'll click your CRM. And on yours, you'll probably add, you'll just add a CRM for mine. I'll hit edit. You'll use the username is going to be the email that you are, that you have your go high level or insurance systems account. Then you're going to need your API key. So that API key, that's going to be found in your business profile. So you're just going to click business profile. You're going to go down and then you're going to copy that API key. And then you're going to paste it in there. Now for the domain, uh, if you're using Go High Level, it's going to be app.gohighlevel.com. If you're using insurance systems, it's going to be app.insurancesystemscrm.com. And once that's done, you're up and running. So super, super easy to integrate and it works very, very well. And it's super streamlined. So we don't have to worry about uh, any anything crazy. It's very, very simple and it works very, very well. So the next part that I want to talk about is going to be uh, how you can integrate with Zapier on this. Uh, now, this is going to be something that you don't have to do, but if you wanted to do a more high-level uh, Kixi setup, I would advise doing this. First, if you're doing Zapier, get zapsunlimited.com. Just because it's only 30 bucks a month, you get unlimited zaps. So on here, how we're going to use this setup it's going to be, so basically in the pipelines change. So let's say we sell the policy and it gets issued. So what we're going to do is when that pipeline is changed to issued, then we can go on here and we can have it removed from all power lists. So once you sell that client, they're going to get dumped out of that power list and you don't have to worry about uh, calling them after you've already sold them as well as you can use it on if they missed an appointment you can actually have them added to a power list of missed appointments. So what that can do is if you're booking your own leads or if you have a dialer, uh, they can go on there and then they can actually go straight through and dial the missed appointments. And it's just always going to be keeping up with that. So all you have to do is run your business. When you click that over, it's going to automatically add them to a list. So you don't have to worry about moving people over and having people fall down the cracks, especially if they miss an appointment, because that's kind of a big one. Uh, if they do miss an appointment, it's very hard to get them back on just because keeping track with everything. But you can use that integration to be able to do that. Another one, you know, you can add to power list, make a call. I don't really use that one. I use remove from power list and then remove from cadence. That's if they DND. I wouldn't worry about that. And then send SMS. So for most of those, I don't really use those. I would mainly stick with the remove from power list just because once remove and add to power list, just because as you continue to do more and more volume, when you mark those people off and go high level, you can make sure that they are kicked out there. So then after you sell them, you're not, you're not dialing that lead a lot. So that's just a general overview of Kixi. Uh, if you do have any questions about Kixi, uh, put a comment down there and I'm more than happy to answer anything. I personally have enjoyed using Kixi. It integrates pretty well. Uh, I'll keep looking for other dialing softwares. This is just the best one I've found, uh, mainly because of the local presence, just so I don't have to worry about spam likely all the time. Um, if you did like this video, please like and subscribe. Uh, and I'll have more videos like this. Uh, let me know if you want to see some more in-depth stuff. I'm more than happy to do those types of videos. I just don't want to lose some people on some of this more in-depth stuff. But that's all for today, so I'll see you guys next week.